All right, let's geek out on CoQ10. And my favorite is this product over here, Pure CoQ100. You can probably see it has the MTHFR family over there, basically saying it's clean enough and pure enough for somebody that has MTHFR. Let's talk technical about CoQ10 and why it's a critical cofactor to run the metabolic cycle. So what we're talking about here is in the mitochondria, it's the cycle that ultimately produces energy detoxifiers, including methylation. And there's three cofactors that are required to run that. There are a number of cofactors, but three that become really important for us when MTHFR is in the mix. So the cycle starts out and is very reliant on B12. In the middle, the cycle requires a specific form of CoQ10. And then finally, folate reductase is used to reduce the, the vitamin of folate. All right, so we had spoken in a previous video about this product over here, pure methylation. So if you think about the mitochondria and part one and part three, uh, so B12 and reduced folate, this is your product over here, still right in the middle of the mitochondria is CoQ. And so again, I like the fact that this product is so highly absorbable. Uh, if you listen to the vitamin D video, we were talking about fat soluble vitamins, CoQ10 is fat soluble. So if you didn't catch over there, let me tell you here, Anytime you're having a fat-soluble vitamin, make sure you take it with fatty foods. So vitamins A, D, E, K, and CoQ10, as you're taking them, make sure you have them with something in your stomach or that you're eating something with it at the same time.